Okay, we have another episode of the Guardian Gauntlet again. I'm retrying your. Okay, Susano. All right. All right. Uh, he can apply Dazed to me with his two as well as his ultimate, so I'm going to be taking a ton of damage. But other than that. No. No, this is a bad matchup. The more I'm thinking about it, he can apply Daze to me very easily, and he has a lot of mobility to get away from me. And Yorm ult is very hard to hit on mobile targets. I think this is a bad matchup. I'm gonna go Hunter's Blessing and just try and just try and pretty much kill the uh, kill the uh, kill the towers and objectives before he can get more online. I believe I'm gonna have to go Racer. Racer Aegis. Aegis, actually, for his ultimate. Even though he can't knock me up with his ult and he can't pull me, you know, it's still going to be difficult. So, Jeff, I won't let him know if it's a Guardian Gauntlet just because he might, uh, he might, he might F6 or something. I don't want that to happen. All right. Hmm. Yeah, I'm recording some games in advance, but I'm realizing that that might spoil some of the games for uh, for the viewers because I'm recording this the same day as the previous Yorm the game, which means that the outcome of this game might spoil it for this viewer, <laughs> unfortunately, for the spoiler of the ending of last game. I'm sorry about that. Okay. All right, we have one fourth health. Hunter's Blessing does work with the orb autos, by the way. It's just reduced damage, but it still increases it. Okay, it applies Daze to me. Ow. I mean, yeah, I poked him out, but... At what cost? He could probably just kill me on one, one swoop combo. He has no more potions though, whereas I have potions. I think he'll have to back before me. I used that before I could hit him. Oh, how much I would love to ult and kill you, but I know your ult is garbage. So I'm not even gonna try it. Oh, now I want to try it. Now I want to try it. Perhaps. Thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Okay. Okay. He had nowhere to go. He just ran back into my minions because he had absolutely nowhere to go. It was either get hit by my ultimate or run into minions. So, which one would you do, you know? Uh, that's good. He stayed for a little bit too long there. And we with first blood, maybe we can snowball and win this. I, I know I'm going to go ring this this game because I just need some, some auto attack damage in order to take a tower. And Phoenix, I'm really glad he didn't go Warriors Blessing, so he's not going to be mitigating our autos that much. So, this is good. This is good. Is it worth it to skip boots on your arm? That I don't know. Like maybe you skip boots for just an extra item early. That way you go ring this breastplate. The only thing is that then he will have a ton of mobility over me rather than just a little bit. Look at my auto damage. That is pretty good. Might be able to kill him again. Hold on! Might be able to kill him again. No. No, he's going all the way back. That's too bad. Oh, is he staying? Your middle tower is under attack. No, he's not staying. If he was staying, I would kill him. Alright, now let's not get ringed as first. We need boots. I could get speedy boots. That's what I used to do on Yorm. I used to get uh, traveler shoes, but it doesn't, doesn't always work. The cooldown is so valuable on me that I, I don't think I can give up shoes and shoes of focus. Autos do quite a bit right now. That's good. That is really good. Again, you don't want to just hold left click. You want to hold left click, let go. Hold left click, let go. 
just so that your passive meter doesn't go down too fast. Oh, so close. I get the kill. I might do the trick this time. I just cancel my ult. Oh, he's going back in. No, there's no way. Should have gotten out. Your ball is so hard to hit, man. It's so easy to juke. By the time you cast it, they can walk pretty much anywhere and juke it. As long as they literally, as long as they don't walk into it, they can juke it. Like once you fire it, they'll be like, oh, he's going this way. And as long as they switch directions, they can juke it no matter what, you know? So it's more on whether my opponent can juke or, or if I, rather than I can hit it. Oh. And there goes our lead. And we still have a lead, but it's not as big now. Shred him. Nope, not enough damage. Uh, how are we how are we gonna do this, man? Your arm is just so bad. Is he gonna ult me? Okay, he missed. Good. I can life still up off in this, so if he comes and tries to fight me, uh, I can probably kill him. Oh, I missed. Now I'm in trouble. Yep. Oh, no, man. No, this is impossible. How am I supposed to win this match? Oh, uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't want to be stuck on Yorm. I wish I could take Yorm out of the Guardian Gauntlet just because he can't build Polly. <laughs> Please let Yorm build Polly, high -res. Oh my god, no. It's really frustrating because he would be so good if he could build Polly. I'm stuck with going a bad build on Yorm because he can't, he can only use like half the items. You stay. Hey, I might get tower. Or at least some of it. I'll just try and take it. Honestly, it's worth. Okay, we got tower. Now we just gotta get Phoenix. Easy, right? Easier said than done, though. And he's just gonna be sitting in Phoenix, as far as I know. So, just take as many buffs as we can, I suppose. Start working our, on our defense. I'm tempted to get like an Imperius armor. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'll get Imperius armor next item. We'll see if it works. It'll give me a better defense plus a better offense. The only thing I don't like about Imperius is it, what if you get Bull Demon or if they get Bull Demon. It doesn't help at all in terms of taking it. only other god I would even consider Imperius on is Ares. That's because of Ares passive. Oh, it gives quite a bit of health. I mean, that's good, right? Thank the lord he's not applying daze to me before he does damage. Oh, and now he applied daze. I'm not going to be fighting that. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I'm not going to be fighting your Phoenix right now. I think we got to go in Imperius. Who knows? Maybe Imperius will become a core item on Yorm. We'll never know if we don't try. How much power does he have with Transcendence? 127? He has almost as much power as me, and I'm a magical character. Yikes.
We are gonna need to start warding as well because you can take bold demons so much faster than me. Oh shoot, red buffs up. I can't give that to him. Cannot give that to him. Not bad. Not bad damage. Oh my lord. <laughs> I was so tempted to Aegis that because he was doing all my health. But I was like, I can't. Otherwise, he'll just kill me immediately after. I'm not going to do any damage. So I'm glad I didn't. That was a little bit scary. But I'm glad we got that engagement because we need it. We need all the kills we can get on Yorm. Um, I would love to take his blue buff, but he's already respawned. So I gotta go. Try not to put all my points in my ultimate because it's just not that good. Okay, so let's start working on Imperiors, I guess. Um, it gives 250 health. That's not that bad. And instead of trying Frenzy this time, I'll just try Thorns, I suppose. I didn't get Bracer this time because I'm I'm almost certain that Susana will get Brawlers. It's a good item on him. He's probably going to get Brawlers out of the way. It's a really good item on him. When we have Red Buff, that's when we really want to be able to Siege Phoenix, but unless we get a kill, I don't see that happening. We'd have to get a kill with my mini wave alive, which is even more difficult. He's actually a level ahead of me. Okay. Is he taking bold demon? Please tell me he's not. Okay, good. All right. Come on, man. Fight me. Can't fight him under his phoenix. I can't attack phoenix. <laughs> I can't. Okay, hit him twice with that. Okay. Don't clear the wave. Don't clear the wave. Oh my god. No. I used ages when I shouldn't have. Are you serious? He went straight for wave rather than fighting me and I was forced into a horrible situation. Oh, uh, I hate... I, I love and hate Yorm. He's so fun in other game modes, but in Duel he's so frustrating because it's almost impossible to take anything. Come on, that sucks that he went straight for the wave. Because without the wave, I literally can't do anything. That's really annoying. Does he not get my tower? Okay. At least that makes me happy. Alright, I got Imperius Armor. Yeah, the one item I thought I would never build in duel. I just need to try and come up with a strat that actually works on Yorm. Because we're having so much troubles with him. Of course, he's behind my wave, though. And Susana has so much mobility, I can't catch him. If I can kill him here, please, please let me kill you. Oh my god. No! Wait, 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 wait. No, it doesn't damage in place? Oh, because he teleported to it. Are you serious? No, the, the storm doesn't damage after he teleports. Oh, Susano, come on. I hate this. I hate this so much. I don't want to be stuck on Yorm for a while. Yorm is so frustrating to play and do good as in duel. This is has so much mobility. Come on, dude. Okay. Alright, I'm out. I'm losing my tower, though. Alright. Now we will get spear, I guess, or obsidian. I don't really know. 
I guess spear. Maybe I could just get a bunch of flat pan and that'll work. Don't take my tower, don't take my tower. This just does not work. I can't fight you in your Phoenix. All right. Wait, is he backing? I'm just gonna do as much damage as I can, and then I'm gonna ult out. Literally every tiny bit of damage I can get is a win. Even if it's the smallest amount, because Oh, I, I just, the Phoenix is going to heal up, you know? Is he still going to chase me? Might try to use my Imperial's armor to my advantage here. He does try to chase me. Okay. Well, goodbye to that tower. <laughs> that tower's gone. It's one auto attack away. You can just walk up and kill it. Hey, maybe it's not dead. Nope, it's dead. The Empyreus helps quite a bit, actually, when I'm sieging the Phoenix. And there's that Brawlers. Good thing- I don't know if he knows how Yorm's passive works, because he hasn't been applying Daze to me very often. Are you really gonna ult the wave, man? Look how much mobility he gets. It's like two, I have to get two leaps of my ult just to get near him. Oh, he's just gonna run. Yep, there's it is. Yep. All right, run away. I literally can't do this. I can't do this. He's going after my wave and then running away. I need my wave in order to win the game. Uh, I'm getting a little frustrated because I really don't want to be stuck on the arm for a long time. But, like, this is, like, as good of a matchup we're going to get, you know? All the matchups are bad. Just some are worse than others. Any god that can apply Dazed is a bad, bad one for Yorm. Got red buff. He's just going straight after my my stuff. My waves. Oh, and there he goes again. I really can't do anything when he plays like that. Maybe he'll back here and I can push a little bit. No, he's not backing. Oh, he's ulting wave. Alright. Alright, buddy. Oh my god, man. He's literally ulting my wave. How am I supposed to win if he's ulting my wave? He's not even ulting me. He's ulting the wave. I'll get Gem of Iso, but it's not even going to help. He has he has a, a dash, a teleport, and, you know, good base movement speed. So, I don't even think Gem of Iso will help that much. Is he going to take my Phoenix off of this? <laughs> I could not have been lucky. <laughs> he walked in a millisecond before the minions. All right, he's dead for 30 seconds. Now, I can try and take Phoenix, or I can maybe try and go for Bull Demon. I think because we have Emperors, I'll try and go for Phoenix. He's, he's still alive, though. I mean, he's still dead, but only for 15. Oh, I have one minion? Hey, one minion is all I need. Oh, never mind. All right, seven seconds? Can't do anything with seven seconds. Uh, I mean... Yeah, we're back to the same way it's been this entire game. Except both my relics are down. 
Can you come over here and fight me, please? No, you're gonna go back. Understandable. He's, he's playing the best way to win. I think I'm just gonna keep doing that. Anytime one minion goes in range, I'm gonna use my two for them powered auto attacks and then just try and rush it down. I think that's the only thing I can do. He is gonna take my blue buff, unfortunately. So like maybe after six waves, we'll be able to take it. I'm, I'm a patient person, but I'm not a patient person when it comes to this. Like I really don't like how he's just focusing my wave and then getting out every time. Like I can't chase him. And he knows I can't chase him. Maybe I can bait him with red buff. He knows he wants this. This would increase my auto attack damage quite a bit. I can sell my boots. I was trying to go Rengda's earlier, but I had to change my mind because of Imperius. So we can sell our boots for Rengda's if we could try that strategy. All right, let's push. We have Gem Vice, so this is the time that we can take Phoenix, if any, I think. He didn't have wards. He's just going after the XP camps. We're pretty much the same level. He has a little bit more XP than me, though. Okay. He's not going to fight me yet. Okay, good damage, good damage. The gem vice was helping. Always going to ult the wave, as always. Okay. This is not going according to plan at all. I can kill him so easily, but he keeps hiding in his phoenix. Hold on. No, he's not going to fight me. Is he? I would love to fight you if you want to right now. Oh. No, he's not going to fight me. Of course he's not going to fight me. Okay, time to go. Are you going to fight me or not? Oh. Oh, shoot. Am I dead now? Oh, my God, dude. Oh, he got his ultimate again. He's just... Oh. He's ulted the wave like three times this game, and he was just waiting for his ult to be up. I didn't think it would come up that fast. Is he going to die Phoenix again? No. Okay, well, at least he can't win because I cleared the wave. He can't take Phoenix. He might be able to take Phoenix. I don't know how far away his next wave is. It looks like he won't be able to take it. Plus, I'm ultimate. So even if he does take it, I should be able to chase, chase him down. No, he, he checked red buff and backed. Okay, good. I'm really bad at judging that, where, like how far the wave is. Well, I mean, he would have had like 10 seconds of auto attacking it with Hydras. He probably could have taken it. Might have died due to my ult, but you know, if he altered the wave again, I wouldn't have been able to do anything. It's like I can't even be mad at him because he's playing the way you should be playing against Yorm. Clear the wave because Yorm needs it so bad, you know? Oh, I thought he was going to teleport. Oh, now we're at late game. Now we're at late game and he just does so much damage. Oh, he's so low. No. Okay, well I get red buff. If I hurry, he could he could stop us. I mean, it's, it's, uh, this is more taking it away from him than giving it to me. Okay, time to go. Still can't afford Rengdas. Still can't afford Speed Potion plus Rengdas. I 
I don't even know if Ring does will help to be honest. I just wish Yorm could build Polly. If Yorm could build Polly, I would have won. Eight, I would have won already, you know. I would be able to burst him down as well as take that Phoenix. I wouldn't have to go in Perio's armor, that's for sure. Is he taking Bull Demon? Nope, he's not. All right. Can I afford it now? Nope. Another, what, like 700 gold? I didn't actually look how much I needed. Oh, the upgrade is relics. I don't really need to upgrade my relics right now. His escape's down. This is a good ch chance to go on him. This is a good chance to go on him. There we go! We have minions! We have minions! Go, go, go! Don't let his minions die! I don't know why he took that engagement! Like, at first, I mean, it made sense why he took it, but instead of running away, he threw his three on me that last time. Okay. Do some auto attack damage. Use our two. Empowered auto attacks. Shred Phoenix. Shred Phoenix. Okay, we got Phoenix down! Yes, please! I don't want to play Yorm again! <laughs> I do not want to play Yorm again. Oh, I need this. There we go! Yes! Finally! Okay, I think Empire's armor, here's the consensus. It's it's like it's still bad, but Considering Yorm's itemization is so limited, it's not the worst pickup in the world. If you're able to fight your opponent, I would get Yemperius. GG, man. Okay, so I don't have to play Yorm again for now, as long as we win the next Guardian Gauntlet. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, uh, let's look at the details real quick because I'm curious. Player damage, 20,000 almost. He had 25,000. 24,000. Damage taken, 30,000, 20,000. Yorm is crazy, but his objective push is so bad. All right. Good luck in your next games. Okay, hold on. We gotta go to the Guardian. I'm sorry, I think I cut off his last message. But I'm in his last message, but I really just want to look what gods have to. Capri? Oh, shoot. I didn't realize that Capri's right after Yorm. That's like the worst place Capri could be. All right. All right. Uh, all right. We'll figure something out with Capri. Anyways, have a good one, you guys. Look forward to the Capri episode.